Welcome to the DeFi standard. This is Patty XRP, and this is going to be a different kind of video for us. But Mickey and I have been harping about the Zum Wallet and GitHub lately, and you know, kind of reasons behind this as you know, we see more things become available to, you know, directly do on the ledger. We definitely want to cover that. You know, it gets us more towards decentralized applications and away from some of these centralized exchanges to do stuff. So I just wanted to show um, some of the abilities of the Zum wallet and also the new X app for trading on the XRP ledger DEX that was created by GitHub. So let's kind of get into this. And just so everybody knows, um, you know, this does not apply to Flare Network. Um, I'm still looking at, you know, Bifrost Wallet, Descent Wallet, MetaMask are looking like the main options for Flare Network. Zum is, you know, for the XRP ledger in particular. And so is GitHub as well. You know, we'll see if they change in the future, but right now I don't know any plans to do that. Uh, one thing you can do is set up a Spark IOU trust line via your Zum wallet. So that's something to where, you know, you could possibly trade with Spark or for Spark on the XRP Ledger DEX in the future. Um, you're going to be able to do this with the Ore stable coin and, you know, some other different issued currencies on the XRP Ledger, you know, whether they're coming from Flare Network or being issued as like an IOU from Bitstamp or GitHub, you know, those are different ways of issuance and different types of counterparties. Um, this is the Zum website. It's uh, zum.app. And this is VT Wins company. Um, they created this from XRPL Labs. So this kind of just tells you what you can set up. They also have these Tangum cards or Tangum cards that come with it that store like an RFID chip on a credit card like thing that you can use with your phone to sign transactions. Uh, so I think that's an interesting thing as well. And you can buy backups for that if that's something that interests you. And with this, um, there is also a web page called zum.community. This is made by Nixer, or Nixer FFM, which is a community dev. It's not affiliated to Zum, but with permission and endorsed by XRPL Labs, the creator of Zum, you can use this as a signing platform. And this is cool because, you know, with certain things you can do on the Zum mobile wallet application, you can also um, connect to this website to do it from a browser. And that just includes, you know, I click on sign in with Zum, scan the QR code and open um, the link into my Zum app and it will sign it and let you start doing things from here, which is nice that you have a mobile wallet application and a um, desktop browser that you're able to use. So with that, let's go ahead and pull up some uh, video recordings I did from this morning of me using the Zum wallet application on mobile. And I have this for iOS, FYI. And so the first one is going to be of me sending a transaction to GitHub to activate a wallet. So sending 80 XRP to GitHub, you need 20 to activate a wallet. Um, right here was me looking around for the QR code for my GitHub account, which you can scan with your phone on a computer and it'll input the address automatically. So yeah, let's see, access my camera, showed it there, captured it, and that shows my wallet address on GitHub that I was using for this. And if I hit next, it also warns me that, you know, that wallet hasn't been, that account hasn't been activated. 20 of the XRP will be used to activate it and thus lock to me until I delete my account in the future, at which time I can get back 15 of those XRP delivered to an account that I specify. Five will be burned forever if I do delete the account though. Um, so this is kind of going through the rest of it. I added a memo, you slide and then use touch ID to sign it. Um, you could also use like the Tangum card that I was talking about. So that's a different way than biometrics and took a few seconds. It's all sent. You can see I had a hundred, almost 170 XRP and, um, that decreased to, um, just shy of 90 as I sent 80 over. So that was sending a transaction, not too hard. Um, maybe got to go back and rewatch that one. And then let's look at setting up a trust line 
on the Zum wallet application. And I just want to add for setting up a trust line, it it's basically connecting you with an issuer of um, an asset. So for example, I could set up a trust line with Bitstamp and they have, you know, IOUs for different types of tokens or um, fiat. So one of them's like, you know, Bitstamp USD IOU. I would need to, if I want to eventually cash that out to actual fiat, I would need an account with Bitstamp, that trust line set up so that I can bring those assets to them and redeem them in the future. Additionally, um, the trust lines cost a five um, XRP reserve. You can get this back when you close the trust line, so that's nothing to worry about, but just know you won't be able to use five of your XRP while that trust line is open. And uh, that's something just important to note. So it's kind of similar. So with the XRP account reserve being 20, you know, it's to stop people from spamming uh, account setups and stuff like that. And this is a similar thing they're doing with the trust lines. But as you already have an account reserve set up for each additional asset you want to add under your account, um, that requires the trust line with the five XRP uh, lockup. And so here is a video I did. And you can see I set up a couple trust lines with GigCoin, CasinoCoin. This kind of shows um, the events, shows you know when I set it up and all that stuff. Additionally, payment. And if we go back to the main screen, you can see these are some of the trust lines you can set up uh, directly via the app. So they have a one for Spark that you'll be able to use in the future. I'm going to click that one, then click the button at the bottom, sign to add the token tells you, all right, you know, these are some of the fees, small transaction fee involved, all that stuff. And then, cool, signed it. So it's setting up the trust line. And that is successful. You can see my XRP balance decreased by five XRP for setting up the trust line. And then here, I'm gonna remove it. And with that, five XRP will be, um, accounted back to my balance. And you got to sign on both ends. And you can see my balance increased at the top there back to almost 170. So um, that's kind of how you use the trust lines. Here's a look at the X apps they have. Um, you know, they're still developing more with this application. You can use GitHub Trade, uh, the escrow creator, different kinds of things there. Um, and then also they're going to have a profile where you can KYC and things like that in the future. But that's kind of a rundown there. It's, you know, not, I, I really think it's pretty easy to do. You just want to understand what you're getting into there with, you know, um, reserving some of your XRP with trust lines or, you know, via setting up account. And that was one of the things on the Zum community uh, website that I showed you guys. They have a way to basically, you can delete your account. So you put in the XRP, XRP ledger address where the remaining XRP should be sent to. So you'd get 15 of that wallet reserve back and five would be burned. And then you may have to put in a destination tag and then it'll do it for you. So that's something to note as well. Also, I wanted to add that, um, you know, with the ability to issue a Spark IOU, um, onto the XRP ledger, that could be another way for you to trade into Spark if you're looking to do that in the future. And now let's take a look at uh, GitHub Trade. The website is called github.net and um, you know they allow you to set up an XRP account here and utilize the XRP ledger's DEX. Um, the browser application looks pretty nice. It looks like they're gonna incorporate a mobile one in the future. They also do require KYC AML stuff. So to set this up and use the DEX, um, I had to provide them with like a utility bill and driver's license photos and things like that. So just be aware. They also have this thing called Wallet Protect, which I think I need to still get my KYC address, but basically they have a fraud shield. So protect you in real time by scanning suspicious address lists provided by GitHub, XR, Plorer, and Chain Analysis. Additionally, they have theft coverage of up to $100,000. 
um, provided by Coin Covered, which is insured and underwritten by Lloyds of London. So that's a big time banking entity um, behind their insurance policy. And they have emergency recovery. Your wallets can be recovered in worst case scenarios like losing access to your account. So that's like they'll give you a private key that you can save offline. Definitely don't save that on your computer. Write it down. Keep it in multiple places, however you want to do that. Um, and so this is something they have. I don't know if it costs anything since I don't have the ability to sign up for it yet until my um, you know, account verification is done yet. But that's something else you could look into. And then, so with this, we can go over to the exchange. And let's see if we want to trade some of our XRP, which we have an available balance of 30 right now. We could trade it into, let's just trade it into GitHub USD. I can pay let's see, 10 XRP and I'll get $6.84. So that's the conversion rate between the two. Fee is 0% right here. Oh, cool. And let's go ahead and exchange. So we'll see how long that takes to go through. All right, it says the exchange is completed. And all right, cool. Here's a rates page as well. Kind of shows you some of the different stuff. If I go back to my wallet, uh, you can see I now have $7.18 um, in GitHub US dollar IOUs, which, you know, I'd need an account with them to redeem that to fiat into my bank account. And let's see. Oh, here. So this shows you kind of recent activity. So that's pretty nice. That's my wallet set up. And then the trade I just put through, I don't really want to hold $7 in USD. So let's just go ahead and trade that all back for XRP. Obviously going to lose a little. There's a fee from going um, to USD to XRP. And let's go ahead and exchange. So just so you guys know, I lost, you know, fractions of XRP for this video. So hopefully somebody appreciates it. <laughs> um, yeah, but so that went through. It was shown in my recent activity. They also have like a really nice uh, trading skit, you know, page where you can do stuff. Um, this is loading up, which is going to be like a price chart, things like that. You can see the order book on the XRP ledger. Um, what that spread's looking like down here, and also a nice graph of how the price moving. So we can see XRP's kind of come down a little bit from a couple of days ago, got close to 80 cents. And here you can put in limit orders. And a limit order, if you're not familiar, is saying that if the price hits, you know, if somebody's willing to sell at the price that I specify, then the order will be put in and I will receive the tokens. But let's say I want to buy, you know, XRP at a price of 50 cents, but it, you know, the price never goes down to 50 cents. Well, my order is never going to be filled. Um, so that's kind of an explanation there. So that's a good way to, let's say you wanted to maybe store some fiat on GitHub or Zum and you want to kind of see if the market, you think the market may fall a lot, but you're not entirely sure about it. So you could set up a limit order buy at 50 cents. And if the market falls that far, then you would get filled there. And that's a way to like set up orders without, you know, worrying about having to do it at the time that it's going on. You know, this is on the XRP ledger deck. So there's no shutting down of the exchange, which is also really cool. Um, but yeah, just wanted to point all of that out. And I'll get up a video here um, for the ending of it that shows you kind of how to do it from the Zum mobile app, which connects in with your Zum wallet. All right, so here I'm going to pull up a demo of using GitHub Trade on the Zum application. So you go to the X Apps page, click on GitHub Trade. You can see similar screen to what we had on the browser looking at GitHub. So you can buy and sell XRP. It lets you put in limit orders. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. Saying I wanna sell 10 XRP at $1 worth of the USD IOU. 
Um, I confirm that, you know, it's going to tell you that there are some issuer fees and transaction fees. So putting the order is a very small transaction fee that's at fractions of a penny right now that, you know, the issuer fee will go through if the trade processes. Um, but seeing as I put it way above the market right now, it's not going to process. So with that, I can go down to, it shows open orders and I'll find that in a sec, um, right there. I can click X and then cancel that fee for the same transaction fee amount, which is very, very small. It looked like 15 drops, so very little. And yeah, it verifies it and does all that stuff. So that's really easy. Um, you know, I like the setup. Pretty easy to manage there, especially if you're looking to, you know, catch some limit orders, maybe with stacking fiat and trading for XRP. And, you know, if you're going to view those in your wallet and stuff, you need to make sure you have the appropriate trust line set up. So if I sold it for, you know, GitHub IOU, you know, a GitHub fiat IOU or a Bitstamp fiat IOU, I would need to have that trust line set up on the ZUM wallet application. Um, and same thing goes if I was using GitHub too as well. So GitHub has their own wallet. ZUM has their own wallet. Uh, but ZUM's tapping into GitHub's trading platform and you can use it through their application. So hopefully um, you guys enjoyed this one. For anybody that was looking for more info on how to use this stuff, throw in some you know questions in the comments if you need more info or stuff like that. And this is kind of, you know, when Flare and Songbird get going and all that stuff, we'll have a ton of videos like this explaining how to set stuff up. Um, this is a longer form one. When we do those, we'll probably try and make them as quick and to the point as possible and very um, focused on one topic. So it's easier to navigate through them. Uh, but hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you're looking forward to more stuff like this in the future as well. This is the DeFi standard and I'm Patty XRP and I am out. See you guys.